Sean Abbas Hussein here for Seconds Out, here with one half of the main event on Friday night. Mark Heffron, Mark, how are we doing? It's fight week. Uh, this is when the fighters are chomping at the bits. How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling very good. I'm um, looking forward to it now. Nearly there, just two days to go. Uh, you got to see Denzel face to face today in the press conference. Yeah. I'm not sure what you fight to see because I'm not a fighter myself, but what, what do you guys look out for when you do the head to heads? Um, not really much. I just Denzel's like he don't really say anything. Well, he don't say anything, but does he? Like, uh, seems a nice guy. Uh, yeah, he just it seems it's like easy going there. I spoke to Denzel earlier and asked him the same question. So I'm gonna ask you the same question. You both came out of that fight. Both said I'm the winner. You said I'm the winner. He said I'm the winner. Give me your case on why you think you won that first fight. I just feel like um. I won a good seven, seven or six of the rounds. I'd say seven of the rounds. I feel I was landing the much better shots. Um, uh, I was outworking him. I, I just feel I did, did, I did the more. You know what? Coming into this fight, you've actually now done twelve rounds with him. Uh, what, what's what's going to change this time around? What are you looking at for this time around? Was there something that surprised you in the first fight? Nothing that surprised me really. Obviously, I'd watched his his, um, his other fights and uh, he was pretty much just bombing them all out and plowing forward. And uh, that's what I expected from him to, uh, to be coming forward like that. But, but now he, he didn't do that. Um, so now we've had um, all different kind of sparring partners. I've had, I've had come forward sparring partners. I've had tricky sparring partners. I've had uh, sparring partners that move. So I've pretty much covered every, every corner now. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Um, I wanted to say, well, I wanted to say before you came into the fight with Denzel, you never really fought that many rounds before that. I think the last two fights before that, you knocked your opponent out in the first round. Yeah. Now you've got 12 rounds under the bag. Um, are you feeling much better physically as well? Because it could have been a situation coming into that fight you, that you've not got the rounds in in the prior fights before that. Yeah. Is it better that you did get that 12 rounds and now you're feeling uh, prepared for it? Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's always good to get the rounds in. Because, you know, in the back of your head, what, what it's like to get, to get into the championship rounds and... Uh, yeah, now I've been there and I've done it. I've done it. I've done it before, but now now doing it back to back like this, I, I know him mentally in my head that I'm more than ready because all all I've done is added on to what I had before and I was fit enough before. How much does the draw to Denzel and the loss to Liam Williams push you forward? You, you obviously gain experience from certain setbacks, yeah. uh, the loss to Liam Williams and also Denzel uh, Bentley. So how does that push you forward? The loss to Liam Williams, that just that just taught me a hell of a lot. It's the experience of it and uh, I've said it to many people, like that that, that lot it lost, it like it was a loss, yeah, but it, it didn't bother me the way I thought it was gonna bother me. I thought that like, once I got beat my head would fall off and I, I probably wouldn't fight again. But that night did that that loss, man, I, I knew in my head that I was stepping up to a good few levels in fighting Liam Williams. I know he's the top fighter and uh, I think before I even got in that right fight I felt I felt I felt a bit beaten before I even got in. I, I, I knew, I knew it was a big ask, and um, yeah, I just I, I remember in the, in the press conference with him, Liam Williams. Like, he said to me, uh, "Mike, you, like you smell like something down the lines of um, like you, you, you know in your head uh, that you're gonna get it's something like you're gonna get beat." Like, I just remember him saying that to me. And obviously, I was putting the, that front on it, and uh, I just remember thinking after that press conference, like it's like it's like he knew in it. Do you know what I mean? You just. You're just too, 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 you're just too soon, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just too soon. You know what, at, at that time of your career, did you feel like you weren't sort of doing the basics? Everyone knew you for this heavy hitter. You were yeah. knocking out opponents. You were sort of gaining the headlights. Uh, but there were certain fights where you were lacking the basics. You've said in recent interviews, you, you know what, you had, to, you had to take a step back. You've started to learn, you know, not learn the basics, but, you know, emphasise more on the basics. Yeah. Do you feel like after that Bentley fight, now going into the second fight, that you're more of a rounded package? Hundred percent, mate. Yeah, I'm more of a rounded package now. Uh, I've done a uh, like the, the round with Denzel now, and uh, I've, like be, like the fights before, like I'd, I'd not really got the rounds in, and um, the, the, them rounds are valuable, and uh, it's just it's good being in there and doing the rounds just for the experience, like because like, it's, it's different just by like, like being up fight night. It's different just sparring in the gym because like you're fighting in front of people, you, people are watching you. It's like the nerves are different, and you just got to experience it. And uh, obviously, I was getting in there and just banging them all. Just, that was hit, so, but now I've, I've experienced the rounds and, and I know what it's all about now, yeah.
Talking about experience, I was uh, I, I can remember back in the day when I was watching Amir Khan, um, and your name popped up. You were this amateur kid, and yeah. Amir Khan was fighting Pauli Malinaji. Yeah. You got you got sort of called over, and you went to do some sparring yeah. there. I think Freddie even said, "You know, I'll stay back," but you didn't well, stay back. Yeah. Just just for the fans that don't know the whole sort of yeah. situation, just just tell them about the situation. Yeah, well, um, that I was uh, at the time I was amateur, and I was uh, I was in the semi-finals of the senior ABAs. And um, there was a man called Gary, like, who, like they get in managing me. Gary Hyde, he um, was messaging me to uh, turn professional, and um, obviously I wanted to do the ABAs. I was in the semi finals. Anyway, he ended up saying to me, do, do, "Do you want to come over to America with me?" So obviously I was buzzing me, like going over to Freddie Roach's gym, and he said, "Get me sparring with Khan and whatnot." So I was buzzing. Yeah, I went over to uh, to America, and um, ended up sparring. Uh, what's he called him? What's him? It's Box Crock Crawford. Uh, George Benavides, I ended up sparring with George Benavides as well. And uh, he, was, he was meant, yeah, and then uh, ended up sparring, I mean, can two or three times. And uh, Freddie Roach, like, obviously, was banging all his opponents out. Freddie Roach pumped it aside and uh, was saying, we would have stayed over for the rest of his camp. Obviously, I wanted to get back for the senior ABA, so I, I was good with light, but I uh, went back to the ABA, yeah, and uh, box squad port. How good an experience was that for you? It was mint, mate. It was uh, unbelievable. Uh, I still, now I still want to get back out to America now for, for a few weeks. and. Uh, Sparring out there, it's, they, call, they call it gym wars in mean, Freddie Roach's gym. Just, you just, it's just like normal just to see people getting banged out every every day. There's people getting chinned. It's, um, I'd love to get back out there and get some good sparring. Listen, how much does it mean to you if you you know sort of pick up that British title? We know how big that British title is. We know how many people have gone on to yeah. become world champions. Uh, but how much is it for you personally to win that British title? It means the absolute world to me, mate. Um, I'm just... Buzzing that I'm fighting for it, and I'm just when I win that, well, when I win that title, British title on Friday, uh, it's just going to totally change my mindset, and yeah, I just can't wait for it. I just want to move away from your fight. I want two quick sort of opinions from yourself. We know that the division that you fight in, in the middleweight, super middleweight, that sort of area, Canelo fights in the same yeah. division. We know this week he's been made a free agent, which means it opens doors to a lot of fights. If there was one fight you wanted him to fight next, who would that fight be? Uh, to Canelo's fight next. Mm, I don't even know. Uh, probably. I don't. I don't. I don't know. There's a few old boys as well. Callum Smith. Please yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I'd love to see uh, Canelo win with Callum Smith. Hundred yeah. percent. I think that'd be a. Uh, his Callum's massive in here. Yeah, I think I'd love, I'd love to see him with Callum Smith, definitely, yeah. Out of all, out of all the British fighters, out of Billy Joe, a lot of them, I'd, I'd love to see him with Callum Smith. This final question for myself, a day after your fight, uh, Kel Brook's going to be fighting Terence Crawford. Uh, talk to me about that one. Do you think Kel can upset the odds? I think it's a massive ask from Kel Brook. I think Kel Brook's a top fighter. and uh, I just think there's levels, and I think, I think Crawford's a couple of levels above Kel Brook. I just think Calbrook's getting a bit older now, and, uh, and I just think um, it's going to be a good, a good while before Crawford gets beat. Cool, Mark. Good luck on Friday. Um, for all the fans that are going to be watching from Manchester, Oldham, all, all that area, and all in the UK, what do you want to say to them? Just make sure you tune in and uh, watch me win the British title, and uh, thank you for all the support from my uh, friends, family, and supporters. Thank you, Mark Efron. Thank you very much for talking to Seconds Out, top man. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah.